close your eyes and spread thoughts of goodwill, a wish for true happiness. There's a tradition that you start with yourself. That tradition doesn't start, though, in the canon. It's later. So you can start with anybody you want, anybody who's easy to spread goodwill toward. And then spread those thoughts to more and more people until you've got everybody. Now you want to get so you can spread goodwill to everybody without any hypocrisy. That you're really sincere about it. And that means there are going to be some people that you have to work through. In other words, work through your resistance. You have to ask yourself, what would you gain by seeing this person suffer? What would that person gain by suffering? You might say, well, it would teach that person a lesson. But there are a lot of people who don't learn lessons from pain. In this case, you hope they'd learn their lesson some other way. But then you think about a lot of people, they're not anywhere near going to learn any lessons. That's why goodwill has to be backed up with equanimity. Realize that we live in a human realm where there's going to be a lot of mixture of good and bad. But just make sure that you don't wish anyone ill. Because that's the main purpose of the goodwill meditation, is how it gets carried out in your thoughts and your words and your deeds, when you're actually dealing with other people and you're dealing with yourself. Learn how to treat yourself with goodwill. This means paying careful attention to the state of the mind and what it responds to. There are times when it responds to the carrot and sometimes to the stick. And you have to get a sense of your own mind. When does it need the carrot? When does it need the stick? Because you want to make sure that your actions, your thoughts, your words, and your deeds are skillful. They're not going to create any trouble for you down the line. This is why goodwill is coupled with that quality that Buddha called otapa, or compunction. Realizing that your actions do have results, you really want to be careful about what you do and you say and you think, because the results can be very bad if you're not careful. And so you care. That quality of caring, that's the beginning of goodwill. And then it leads into right resolve, the understanding of the principle of karma that connects with the right view. So you've got the beginnings of the path right here. So make sure that they're solid. The, everything be, depends on the beginnings. You want your foundation to be solid. Otherwise, if it's a rickety foundation, then you try building something on top of it, and that's going to be rickety too. It could come tumbling down very easily. So make sure that your goodwill is strong and that it understands why goodwill is needed, what goodwill means, what purpose it serves. And that turns it from just a nice, nice sentiment into a part of the path, a necessary part of the path. This way you bring both your heart and your mind to the practice of goodwill, and both the heart and the mind will develop. And your goodwill will provide a good foundation for whatever you're going to do and say and think as you go through the day.